How's it going YouTube? Kyle with Formar Ranch here and today I wanted to talk to you guys about my experience while being pulled over carrying a concealed weapon legally with the CHL in the state of Texas. So I know a lot of people are always worried about their first possible confrontation with law enforcement while carrying a weapon and I just wanted to give you some tips and pointers and also show you some footage of my actual first experience. So stay tuned guys. Disclaimer guys, I am not a lawyer, I am not by any means giving you legal advice, I am purely speaking off my own experience within the state of Texas, and laws are subject to change within the state of Texas, this has happened over a year ago, the footage I'm going to show you, as well as laws from state to state are obviously subject to change, so please be aware of your local laws and do research, especially if you are going to be legally carrying a concealed weapon. Alright, so first things first, When I, I'm about to show you the footage of the video, but I just wanted to break it down for you. So you'll notice I do a couple things right away. Immediately when I get pulled over, I begin uh, getting my credentials because I know that once the officer gets to my car, um, he's going to want me to stay put and it's just going to be kind of a mess um, because I, I do have a weapon and I'm getting ready to tell him that. So I don't want to be moving a whole lot when the officer's there. Additionally, you really don't want to be moving a whole lot as the officer is approaching your vehicle, but what I did is I immediately rolled my windows down so that he has uh, better visibility, and uh, would it have been night, I would have turned my lights on in the interior of the vehicle, and the reason for this is the more comfortable you can make the officer, the more you try to show him you're not doing anything wrong, the better and the easier the situation is going to be, especially when you do have a weapon. But anyways, I immediately went ahead and got my CHL and my driver's license out. And for those that do not know, in the state of Texas, you're issued your driver's license and very almost identically to your driver's license is, you can see here, concealed handgun license. And anytime you are uh, asked for identification from law enforcement in Texas, uh, when you do have a CHL, you are legally obligated to also present your concealed handgun license. So if I get pulled over and I have to present my driver's license, obviously, I also by default need to show my CHL. Upon presenting your CHL, if you are carrying, it's highly recommended you go ahead and tell the officer where you are carrying because that shows him that, again, you're not trying to hide anything, you know you're not doing anything wrong, and it's really going to put the situation in his control. So what I do in the video is I tell him I'm, I am carrying. As soon as I, he notices I handed him the CHL, I say, officer, I am carrying. It's on my right hip. How would you like to proceed? Now I say that because I am not in control of the situation. I am accepting of that. I'm putting the control of the situation in the officer's hands. So however he is comfortable, whether that is, you know, I step out of the vehicle, I, you know, set my firearm on top of the, the roof or the hood of the, of the car, or, um, you know, whatever makes that officer feel at ease about the situation. But in this case, he tells me just keep my hands on the wheel and don't move. So that's exactly what I did for the remainder of the stop unless told to do otherwise. Now, should you not hand the officer your CHL um, when you give him your driver's license, he's going to go back to his car, he's going to get on his computer, he's going to run your driver's license, and it's going to pop up in the system right away that you are in fact a CHL holder. He's going to approach you and be like, hey, why didn't you tell me that you have a CHL? Uh, are you caring right now? There's going to be a whole bunch of questions and you've already lost a little bit of trust and it's going to be a little bit more uncomfortable for that officer. So right away you want to be up front. Additionally, I, I can't, don't quote me on this, I can't tell you exactly how long ago this was, but a short period of time ago, if you failed to give your CHL to an officer, you could actually get a ticket for that. Now, it's just a warning. He's going to probably scold you, hey, you should know better than this. Um, you were supposed to give me your CHL. Uh, why didn't you do that? And again, it's going to raise a bunch of questions that are just unnecessary and don't help de-escalate the situation by any means. Um, however, I have also been in a uh, bit of a fender bender and when I was talking to the police on the scene, I handed him both my CHL and driver's license and that particular officer said, I don't need your CHL. And I'm like, okay, I'm sorry officer, I was always told I'm supposed to give you both. So it may vary, but rule of thumb, always present your CHL whenever you are supposed to be showing identification. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and look at the footage I recorded, and if you've been wondering this whole time, why did I record this, or how did I manage to record this, it's two reasons. Uh, one is, it is by no means illegal to record your encounter with law enforcement in the state of Texas. Um, again, 
be knowledgeable of your local laws. I'm not saying, you know, I was flashing my phone in the officer's face. I was not trying to interrupt what they were doing, uh, you know, while on duty, uh, you know, performing their job. Um, I simply put it in the cup holder of my vehicle. Fortunately, it was pointing towards the driver's side because I assumed he was going to approach on the driver's side, but he approached on the passenger side because it was a busy roadway. Um, so he is not in um, this video. However, I am, and you can clearly hear both his audio as well as mine. Um, and the second reason is just because when carrying a weapon, you know, if the situation were to escalate or if the, an officer were to unfortunately overstep their boundaries, as we've kind of seen a lot of lately in the media, unfortunately, um, you definitely want to document that for your own personal protection. So let's go ahead and take a look and make sure you guys um, look out for all those things I pointed out earlier on how I chose to handle the situation. Hi. Howdy. How are you, officer? I'm good. I'm with the highway patrol. And I'm, I'm currently carrying. It's on my right side, so tell me how you want to proceed with that, okay. officer. That's fine. You can just stay in the vehicle. Just make sure you keep your hands on the... Not a problem. Well, I'm with the highway patrol. Reason for your stop is a couple reasons. Your front license plate. You don't have a front license plate on your vehicle. Yes, sir. In Texas, you are required to have a front license plate. Yes, sir. And number two is, uh, when you saw me up there, uh, you were driving in the left lane without passing somebody. Okay. So you have to be driving in the, in the right-hand lane unless you're passing somebody. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Gotcha. Um, do you have your insurance with you as well? Yes, I was getting it. You need a signature right there on that end? Do you have a pen I can borrow? Yep. It's no fine, no penalty. Just make sure you get that front license plate on for us, okay? Yes, sir, will do. I appreciate that. Okay. Y'all be careful going to San Antonio, okay? Yes, sir. Make copies. Okay. Thank you very much. Right. Have a good one.